Hey lacrosse fans, my name is Olivia Becker, joined by Patrick Strawn. Um, we are here to talk about last week's game for men's lacrosse against UCF. Impressive win for them. What seemed to um, impress you about the game? Yeah, it was a very impressive win, especially for their home opener. I was very excited to see what the lacrosse team, because a lot of expectations are coming in for this team. I mean, being ranked in number six in the country, the highest preseason ranking they've ever had. So to see them come out with a good win on such a quality opponent was impressive. But even more impressive was the fact that their depth really showcased in that game because even a lot of their returning point scorers, they weren't really getting the things and the, the ball rolling for them. It was the deaf player. So that was impressive to see because you know once those once the stars c come aligned or when they start playing those tough opponents, the top players will come out and perform. We all know that because it's been those moments that they've been able to shine the best. So good to see that you're able to get the showcase your depth early because that'll be huge for you later. And you mentioned UCF being a quality opponent. How do you think that's going to carry into the rest of their season with these next couple of road games? I think it's going to be carrying into their season well because, I mean, instead of playing like, I guess you could say a low-end opponent in the SCLC, like, I mean, UCF, they're a higher-ranked team, uh, as we talked about in the preview. They just missed going into the SCLC tournament by a game. So, I mean, this is a team that has shown that they do have the ability to get there. It's just a matter of them trying to get over that hump and then make it there. So the fact that the Flames were able to do it and showcase, as I said a minute ago, the depth, especially with that depth, you had a lot of your freshman players come out in a big way. I mean, Janikowski, he owned the faceoff circle for you. Then you also had Pennell and Nichols. They did a phenomenal job for you guys scoring points. And even Cameron Carter, you had a good first showing too. So just for those guys in their first bit of action, yeah, I think that showcases well for what this Flame Club does for the future because getting a good win at home builds confidence for those younger guys too, knowing like, okay, yeah, in my first game of collegiate across, you know, we can play and fit the mold that we need to be able to and also keep to that standard that Liberty Lacrosse has been able to make over the last few years. And carrying that confidence in, they have two road games yeah. against ECU and Clemson. What can they do to carry that confidence on into those games? Well, they're going to have to find a way to be able to carry that confidence. Obviously, ECU, that's going to be a little bit lower of an opponent than they face in UCF. So that will be a good uh, game for them, especially for their first true road game. Uh, it will be a good way to kind of test the waters and also help them showcase that depth again and build confidence going into your first ranked opponent when it comes to Clemson. I mean, Clemson, they've known to have a very ferocious attack with a lot of guys that can put the ball in the back of the net. I mean, one of the top scoring offenses in the SCLC last year, and I believe they had one of the top scoring point getters too. So, I mean, the fact that if they're able to get their offense going early and then kind of make Clemson play catch up or even more so let their defense play strong, that's going to be huge. The biggest thing for them, though, they have to be able to not commit as many penalties. We saw that in the second half, and that kind of gave, at times, UCF some life. But the Flames, as I said, their depth really carried them away. So they can limit some of those penalties and turnovers that they had in the second half on the road against ECU and Clemson. They should be able to come away with two wins. Great. Well, Pat, thank you again for your insight. If you guys want to follow how the Flames are doing on the road against ECU and Clemson, take a look at the website and all of our social media. Um, for Patrick Strong, I'm Olivia Becker.